Esther, <coughs> Macho, Jackie, Pinto, Mary, and uh, <coughs> dear friends of no no. How does uh, one say goodbye to a friend of several decades? This is an undaunting task, but I will just share with you some memories of our long association, which dates back to the late 70s. I met Nonong through his first wife, Men, who was the best friend of my wife, Suzanne. She was an active member of the Bakyas Evangelical Church. Nonong was most of the time away, working in oil rigs all over the world, so that he would come home only once a year for about one or two months for his furlough. It was during these times when we got to know each other better and soon became friends because of our shared interests. What do I remember most about him? We don't call each other by our nicknames, but we addressed each other, young man. In my last visit with him in the hospital, his greeting to me was, young man, I am slowly dying. That was no no. He always has some nice things to say, some things for you to remember by. And even while he was anguishing, he could still joke. Nonong was a multi-talented man, but he did not call attention to his God-given talents. He preferred to share this only with his family and close friends. Nonong was a good singer. In his own inimitable way, he would imitate Frank Sinatra, including his timing, which was typical of the great singer. He does not want to sing accompanied by a karaoke, but he preferred to sing with an accompanist who would follow his style of singing, sometimes adding the Alcala style to the well-known Sinatra style. He sang songs like I've Got You Under My Skin, My Way, and sometimes he astounded his audience by singing songs of Frank Sinatra that were not well-known, but he memorized all of them. I could tell that he enjoyed these outings so much that at one time he even sang in our Rotary meeting with only a karaoke as an accompaniment. And one time in Manila many, many years ago, I visited my brother and Nonong and his younger brother Fred, who will be speaking after me, came along. My short visit to my brother turned out to be a whole night of singing session with the three of them alternately belting out songs of yesteryears. He also sang in the bass section of the Rosario Heights Evangelical Church Choir, where my wife was the trainer. And my wife would rely heavily on Nonong, together with his son Tinto. Larry and Chatty were also members of the choir, together with our two daughters, Remily, Chipai, and now Rocky. However, during special occasions when the choir would wear gowns, he was a reluctant member, as he felt uncomfortable wearing a choir gown. This was how simple Nono was. In one of his furlough, he whispered to me, Sani, kalaw ay sang aton ng church pews, nagapil off ng pink. So I called the attention of our church officers, but they were very slow in moving. And one morning, much to my surprise when I went to church, I saw Nonong with a can of paint in one hand and a paintbrush on the other, painting the church pews all by himself. 
I call the attention of the church board and surely the following day there were a lot of church members who were prodded to help Nonong finish painting the church pews. But all of this was started by Nonong and his good heart. He did not tell anybody. He was also an avid gardener. When we visited him in his home, invariably we would find him in the back tinkering around in the garden where he grew vegetables and fruit trees including ornamental plants. During the annual Panad festival, he would go to the various gardens and look for plants that would interest him and he would come home with a trunk full of new plants to grow. In fact, when Nonong learned that he was seriously ill and that he didn't have long to live, he said, Who would water my plants when I am gone? That was how much gardening was so close to his heart. During our last visit to his home, he even plucked a papaya from the tree and gave it to Seth. Of course, as usual, we enjoyed eating it. He would tell me of stories about his stint in the oil rig. He told me of Filipino OFWs who would bring sacks of comic books in order to assuage their feelings of loneliness because they were far from their family. I am sure that Nonong was also not immune to the loneliness that afflicts workers who are far from home. But on his part, he spent time reading books which probably helped improve his literary style of writing. Nonong loves to play chess. He would invite us, his friends, to visit him, dangling the incentive of freshly grilled fish with some drinks, and we would play chess interminably and we would talk about anything under the sun to our heart's content. During church services on Sundays, he would just stay outside the church and play with his chess mates. He said that he could play chess and listen to the church service while waiting for his turn to move. This was possible at Bakyas Evangelical Church because we had a loudspeaker that chaired this church service and early morning religious music to the community surrounding the church. And looking around, I see that many of them are here today, his chess group. Nono was also a very good dancer. During his later years, when swing and boogie became the fad, he loved to take Esther to the dancing floor and dance with Gusto. Esther was a reluctant partner at first, but he successfully encouraged her to join in this particular interest of his. Because of our friendship, our children became very close, very close friends. Most of our children were of, of the same age and they spent time in one another's home, enjoying celebrations like Christmas, New Year, birthdays, and other significant events in our lives. Tinto became the first friend of Remily, and Robbie and Larry were and are still our soulmates. And even now, they live near each other in Toronto, Canada. Larry, may to si Rabi dalon mo kono ha? We learned of the complaints of our children because his children would share their problems with me, and I would tell Nonong about his problems, talking about his problems and trying to come up with solution, thereby avoiding potentially explosive family conflicts. My children would do the same and share their problems about me with Nonong, and Nonong 
would share this with me in a leisurely manner on lazy afternoons at his house. His children call me dad and my children call him tatay. So, <clears throat> I also, by the way, played Cupid for Nonong and Esther. Before Nonong's first day with Esther, Nonong and I went to a flower shop to get roses. He was like a woman, carefully choosing a dress as he went through all of the roses that were being offered for sale in the flower shop. And he picked three rose buds to be given to Esther on their first day. I was the chaperone during their first day where we had a delightful evening dining out. Truly an old-fashioned day. Later in life, we did not see each other as often as before because they transferred here to Ictus and we remained at Rosario Heights Evangelical Church. However, the few times that we saw each other, the bond of friendship was still there. Our children went on to Manila for their college education and ultimately, some went abroad to find better opportunities. And I just do hope that our grandchildren will pick up where we have left off. Finally, Nonong, in the last few years of his life, became more religious and experienced a deeper spirituality which became evident to the church member here at Ictus. He would be asked to pray often. He told us and he, we are sure that many lives were brought closer to God because of his prayers. He was blessed with such a talent that he can make his prayers beautiful and effective so that other people would become more aware of God's presence. This was no known as I knew him. Of course, I cannot tell you all the memories I have of him, or I would be consuming a lot of time. <clears throat> Nevertheless, it will be an understatement for me to say that we would miss him. God indeed works in mysterious ways and sometimes it is during these dark moments that we begin to see light that we never knew existed for each of us this experience will be different but we all share the hope that we will all be reunited in that great get together with jesus christ to Nonong, goodbye my friend, for now, but we will see you in the morning.